shooting, son. Thanks, Pa. Now I think we'd better be doing some real hunting. one thing. Hunting's another. I suppose, but I can't rightly see the difference. Well, the difference is hunting is for eating purposes. Uh, if you, you didn't kill this rabbit, it's likely that a hawk or a coyote would. It's just right and proper. Now, of course, if you was just to kill it and leave it for no good reason, why, that's not hunting. That's killing. And that's, that's wrong. Hey, Mama, the rest of those biscuits ready yet? Yep, they're coming along. A little more milk in here. Just a little. Oh, <laughs> lovely. It's going to be a hot one today. Sure is. Mm. Oatmeal and biscuits. Why, the sand of it's enough to bring a man in. Start a belly talking. You feeling ill, Tom? Oh, it's nothing that ain't natural. Back. Hunted it down myself. Good. We'll be having stew. Yeah, you. What are you doing in my town? Now, that's some kind of welcome. Ain't no welcome. It's a warning. Now, uh, pick up what you need. And I want you out of here in one hour. One hour? One hour. It's a handsome watch. My Excuse me, that's clumsy of me. Just make your mark right here.
know how to sign your name. I see you had some schooling. That's more than most round here can say. I suppose there's more where these came from. I can't hear you. But I heard you. Quality like that ought to bring you in ten, maybe eleven dollars an ounce. Like I said, we'll find. Ten, eleven an ounce. Woo Congratulations, Isaac. You did real well, Isaac. <laughs> You've been up there in them hills for so long there, we figured you were gone. Now, now, Dewey, be nice to old Isaac here. I guess he's a bit shy of being with real people again. Well, we just ain't plain old people, Grover. We're more like friends. Friends? <laughs> Shoot, we're more than friends. Now I'm thinking of taking on Isaac here as a partner. Right, partners. <laughs> a partner, that's the way that is. Yeah, he should be thanking us. No, no, ain't no need here for thank yous. No, I'd worry myself to death about old Isaac here having to... Take care of all that money. You see, Isaac, gold means money. And money, that takes looking after. And looking after something means responsibility. What do you know about responsibility? Now, I know about responsibility. So I'm going to be responsible now. Help you carry that old bag right out of here. What'd you do that for, Dewey? Shoot him, you blind toad! Put your guns down. Just slide him over here. Now get down on your bellies. George? Brother George? But the black one is very good. He made three of them lie with their face on the floor. And there was another one there. And he was dead, but I don't know how. Did you see what was worth dying for? The black one had something in his saddlebag, but I do not know why. But there was... There was another man there, hiding, like a woman. Maybe he knows something. Let's go ask him. No need for that, mister. I ain't bringing no trouble. Appreciate a little water from my horse, and I'll be on the way. You're riding pretty hard there. Well, I got a lot of ground to cover. Some hot coffee won't keep you back, Nern. And you'll profit by it later on. Well, I do have to taste the dust in my throat, ma'am. Oh. Like I said, mister, you don't need that. Well, uh, I'm Matthew Thurston, and this here's my boy, Tom. Tom? Hi. My wife. Beth and our daughter, Lisa. My name is Isaac. Well, I got to be getting on. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Good luck, Isaac. Isaac, you 
you take these along for later. Well, thank you, miss. They'll come in right handy on the trail. Adios. Pa, can I go hunting in the canyon? Chores are done, I suppose. You don't go wandering too far, so your pa will have to come looking for you. Don't worry. I've been learning things. That boy's growing up, Beth. Well, you know, that boy, he can track an animal over a dry rock better than most men. He's probably out there sleeping under some tree, dodging his chores. Now, don't you go belittling your brother like that. His learning's gonna save me some time for some other things. Lisa, get into the wagon. What is it, Matthew? Do I have to? Do as I say, and quickly. Don't you come out until I tell you. much money. We don't want your money. Then go away. Leave us be. Look, I don't want any trouble. You take what you want and leave. <laughs> Hardly enough to feed all these hungry men. Hey, Zeus. See? Kill the cow. my birthday! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Enough! <laughs> I think it's time I found out just what kind of a woman you really are. <laughs> hey, Sue. See? No! For God's sake! Don't. Don't, please. Please. No. Please don't. I meet you at Beaver Canyon. I forgot something.
Where the hell did you come from? Who are you? You killer! Go to hell! <laughs> I probably will. Hey, amigo, the wagon full of surprises. Water, supplies, and the most valuable possession. <laughs> All sorts of possibilities. He wants to be pretty for his senorita, eh, Lupe? And why not? I think she likes me already, eh? Huh? Oh, see, amigo, I see our love burns for you. <laughs> so, Chiquita, what are we going to do with you? Would you like a drink, senorita? Concerned for her welfare, eh, Ricky? That's good. Just wonder how long she has been in the wagon with that water. Ricardo here is responsible for watering the horses. You can understand his concern. Now, haven't you got anything to say for his uh, kindness? Well, I guess you got your answer, Ricky. When she's ready, she'll drink. Don't you usually find it that way? With the horses. See. Si. Ricardo's very young, but don't make a mistake. He's not much different than the others. He'll buy and sell you for a peso. You're wondering what we're going to do to you, aren't you? Aha. Uh -huh. A reaction? Save the rest of the men are fit. Looks like you made yourself a friend. Hey, I'm talking to you. You planning on killing me? Eat your food. I don't want anything from you. Lisa. Orlando's horse. But where is Orlando? Maybe something 
something happened to him. Well, if so, he was long in coming, eh? Check the saddlebags. Better find him before sundown. If he's still alive. Pablo, hey, Pablo, get up. Uh, 
Hey. Hey, wake up. Uh, wake hey. up. Hey. Come on, we got to find Orlando. Better split up. We'll have a better chance to find him. We better find him together. No, you go that way. I'll go this way. We'll meet back here at sundown. Adios. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
killing's one thing, but hunting's another. That go down with rich, that like grow with something else. You hear that, brother George? You're rich. <laughs> hey, Grover, how much you got there? Come on, tell me. Well, this stuff's pretty rich. I say it's got to assay out over 200 pounds. 200 pounds? Don't you'll spill that. Now. That's 200 pounds, Dewey. Yeah, but how much would I get, Grover? How much money would I get? Well, let me let me think here. I gotta figure this out. If it's 200 pounds, and this is a guess. Don't worry about it, Jeff. Gotta be eight or nine there for each of us. Eight or nine? <laughs> Doggone. And we're gonna double that within a year, you know. That's right. And we don't have to share with that partner right there. <laughs> Ain't you glad at that I saw them boys right in the town, oh, Grover? Hey, aren't I glad? <laughs> eight or nine hundred dollars. No, no. 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 Thousand dollars. Thousand? Thousand? Thousand! Eight or nine thousand dollars for each one of us! You mean to tell me this wheelbarrow's got eight or nine thousand just for me? No! We've got more partners. One for the mine. You got my go. <laughs> you might as well set me free. Set you free? You know I can't do that. But you might get lucky. And then maybe you could mine us out some more gold. We'll be back and see you again. Hey, sir. See? Yeah. He sighed, he says. Jesus, kill that man. Kill him. But in here I know I will not do it. So, I gift you your life. Adios, amigo.
Hey, boy. It's me, Isaac. Remember? Come on, put the gun up and cut me loose. I ain't cutting anyone loose. You're probably one of the gang. I should kill you. Now, you tell me where my sister is right now. Look, I'm not one of the gang, and I don't know where your sister is. You know all right. Look, you gotta believe me. I don't know where she is. How should I believe you? You're probably with those outlaws. Come on, use your head, boy. I'd be tied up like this if I was one of them. Huh? I don't know. I can't tell anymore. What's wrong with you, boy? What are you doing out here anyway? Where are you folks? They're dead. Those men killed him. Sorry. Don't blame me for not trusting me. As you can see, I'm not one of them. So come on, cut me loose. Maybe I can help you. You rode into our camp. You look like you're riding pretty hard. Are they after you then? I've never seen them before. Larry went over there and his friends were after me and my gold. Well, then they've got my sister. <clears throat> yeah. And they got my gold. Three hard years of pick splitting rocks. <sighs> well, ain't you going after them? <sighs> yeah. I've been thinking about that. A lot of them. Odds are kind of heavy. If I'm gonna get killed, I guess I'm gonna do it alone. Well, come on, I'm taking the to town first. No one's taking me to town. What about my sister? There's nothing a boy your age can do about that. Now, come on, I'll get yourself. Tom, now where do you think you're going? I don't think anything. I'm going after my sister and those men. You don't know what you're doing. They'll kill you as soon as look at you. Maybe. But if I die, it won't be alone. Hello. I think it's all clear, uh, Grover. Oh. Oh. Hey, what the hell are you doing? I'm just going to signal for help, Grover. Push that away, you jack! Oh, foot is killing me. Oh. Ow! Ow! God damn it. Oh, Grover, I'm trying to take your boot off without hurting you now. Hurt me? You're damn near killing me. Oh, Grover, now come on with me. Uh, ow! Ow! Go! Oh. Oh. That wasn't so bad, was it? Where's your two toes, Grover? My toes? What? Oh, no, not my toes. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, it's better your toes than your fingers. I think that's kind of lucky. <laughs> Help me up on my feet. We're going to think of a way we can get our gold back. I was not on your Get away toe. from me! Oh, oh, get away from me! Oh. I didn't stand on your toe. Isn't that 
pardon him, an army officer's uniform. That's right. How did you ever get it? How? By taking it off of the officer that wore it. Oh, he was a bad one. Besides, it fits me better anyway. Well? Well, what? Well, tell me the rest of the story. Did you rape his wife? No. Little... Did you kidnap his children? No. You weren't kidnapped. That's right. I hid in the back of the wagon. And if I hadn't... If you hadn't, you'd have been dead, and I'd probably been better off. Your father was a fool. For trying to protect his family? For dying to protect him. For dying. Don't you touch me! Now, I wouldn't try anything stupid, like running away or something. Well, if I were you, I'd keep me tied up, because the first chance I get, I'm going to get out of here. Now, you're not going to last half the day out there alone. You're too soft. Get away from me! I can't stand the smell of you! I can't stand the smell of you stinking men! I can't even stand the smell of myself! There's a river right down over there. You can bathe. Oh, your friends would just love that. Ricardo! Ricardo, will you take this young lady down to the river and see that she's not bothered? Well, what about him? Him? <laughs> He's a gentleman. And you're a snake. And you're asking for trouble. I'm asking to be left alone. Ricardo, take her down to the river. You ask me things that I cannot answer. Or you won't. It's the same. You see, my grave would be covered in ten minutes if McLean knew we even talk about these things. Why are you afraid to tell me? No afraid, senorita. Wise. But nothing's going to happen to you. That's enough. All right, if you must know, I tell you. The prisoner's assault. Oh. See, si. salt to the highest bidder. Like cattle. what we wanted. And you're gonna tell him the gold, I suppose. Then he'll know where we are in Plugs for sure. Fourteen. Circle around.
shoulder, will you be quiet? We're right on top of them here. They could not have punished. We are cursed with death by a devil who goes up in smoke. Those men are real, Jesus. And we'll see them again. Maybe next time they won't be so lucky. foolish to try and run away if one of the other men would catch you alone. Let me go! That I cannot do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thanks, Isaac. Thought I was a goner. going to find out. Put out that fire. Smoke can be seen for miles. Hey, Zeus. What do you make of this? McLean. The workerly devil. Take it easy. I'm going after him. I'm going to kill them all. You're going to 
you're going to get yourself killed. You don't take it easy. Now, you can't help your sister by going running off. So think, boy. Maybe we can do something about it. Adios, bandito. Carmella. The whole town came out to greet me, and where was my Carmella? Exactly where you want me to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I'll show you what's worth waiting for. What do you think they're going to do with Lisa? Well, the way I figured, we can't give them a chance to do anything with her. We? What about your gold? Well, one ain't separate from the other. We'll get them both or none. Now, don't get me wrong, Tom. That gold means a lot more to me than you know. Take a whole lot of doing getting in there. They can see us coming from just about every direction. Maybe we're gonna have to move around and get a closer look. See what we're up against. Then it screams! Ah! <laughs> then it goes to the ground like this. <gasps> Dying. And then McLean went, boom! And it was all over. Orlando, Miguel, Juan, Cortez. Oh, it was a devil's ride. Then they killed our friends. They'll be back. All right. The 
This is good. We're safe here. Let's have us a little look -see. Showed up here at a better time, either. We're gonna sit right here and wait. For what? <laughs> My two partners down there to show us the best way in that village. That a military man does before you engage the enemy is check out your equipment. Make sure it's all in top shape, see? Oh, I ain't saying that I was an officer or anything. I don't mean I don't know military ways. Like this, for instance. Look here. Oh, here, I'm showing you something. Look. When I go like this, that means come on ahead, see? Forward. Is that right? Okay. Now, look. When I go like this, see? Get down. It means get down. Roll. Get down on your belly. See? Now, when I, uh... Well, oh, hell, that's about all there is to it. You think you can remember them two things? Well, sure I can. This one means come on ahead, right. and this one means get down low. That's it. You got it? Come on. Let's go. Let's move now. Ow! God. Grover? What? They sure missed a good officer when they missed out on you. <laughs> Tell me about it. Come on. I think we've got visitors. Let's go put that gold in the same place. That sure is going to be easy pickings, isn't it? Hey, we can get in and out of there lickety-split. Don't forget, you can't run too fast now. What'd you do that for? Ned, Ned, Ned. This one. You think there's enough dynamite there to wipe them all out? Just enough to keep them clear of us. I ain't out for no killing, Tom. you devils. <laughs> devils are gone. I feel rich and free. <laughs> then maybe the time has come. Time has come for a white compadre. To go home. Home? <laughs> if only that could be. In our village, they wait for Hazels to come so they can hang him from the city hall. Right alongside of Lupa, huh? <laughs> come on, don't buy anything. Buy your freedom. 
Well, perhaps. What are you going to do, compadre? I guess I go home. <laughs> you guess. <laughs> you are making fun with your friend, eh? You don't leave me here with your two bastardos. What is this madness? This should be a, a celebration. To the goal! To the goal! Oh! Join the others. Jesus is right. Those two men we killed, they were devils? Uh, they bring us trouble, no? Just like the blonde girl. Maybe we should kill her too. What a lucky girl. There's going to be a lot of shooting going on. What about you, Isaac? But well, I still got to get my goal. Well, maybe I can... But maybe your sister needs you a whole lot more than me, boy. Now get on out of here. Okay.
You have seen the devil in your sleep. No, Lupe is dead. The man and the girl, they have gone. Talk to me. A man, design, and of a color I never seen before. I knew I should have killed this man. is a black devil. I could not have missed him. You just don't listen, do you, boy? I thought you might be in trouble. Here, take this door. Get inside. When you get going, I'll catch up to you later. What about you? Well, I got a little something to leave behind. Senor, you are one hell of a fighting man. You have my compliments.
Well, boy, I'm glad to see you're not hurt. Oh, look around you. Hasn't there been enough killing? What's your name, son? We could be friends. Come on. Hand me the gun. Come on, I'll take you home.